Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel Creative Grandma. Today's crochet tutorial is for the Flower Girl Crochet Toilet Paper Cover. This is a vintage pattern that I made over 40 years ago. So I refreshed the pattern, made it a little differently, and as you can see, I decorated all three of my little girls differently. And this is just to give you an idea of how you can put your own accents on your doll when you get it finished. So again, today's crochet tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the dress, the hat, put the dress on your doll, and then poke the flowers through. So let's go ahead and get started. So for our project today, I'm using the Premier Anti-Pilling Yarn. So the material list is you're going to need one skein of the color of your choice of the Everyday DK Weight Yarn. It comes in a 273 yard, 250 meter, 3.5 ounces, 100 gram skein. It's an anti-pilling acrylic, 100% acrylic. It is a number three lightweight yarn. It is machine wash warm, tumble dry. So for the main part of the dress, you're going to have your main color. So you're going to need one skein of the color of your choice. And the color I'm using today is color number 1107-37 Carnation. And I'll put a link in the description box underneath the video. If you click that link, you can view all the beautiful colorways that Premier has in this yarn. So one skein of your main color. And then you're going to need a contrasting color. So you can choose whichever color you wish for your trim color. And you're only going to need a half an ounce of your trim color. You're also going to need a 9 inch plastic doll for in the center of your toilet paper roll. But in the middle of making this video, I got an email from one of my subscribers who sent me a link to a website where you could get dolls that are actually made where they fit down inside the toilet paper where the base of the doll is like a round dowel. So I'll put that link in the description box as well because it's really hard to find a nine inch doll. So try to keep it to nine inches. If you get one taller, then the dress size won't work. So it must be a nine inch doll. You're also going to need one mega roll of toilet paper. This is the larger size. So this is wider across the top and a larger roll of toilet paper. So one mega roll of toilet paper. You're also going to need a yarn needle for weaving in those ends. You're also going to need a size H8 or five millimeter crochet hook. You're also going to need a small bunch of silk flowers for in the center of your doll between her arms, if you wish. Now these are optional. This is all up to you and how you decorate your doll. Now I purchased these last year at Michael's for a different project that I didn't get done. So these flowers are a little too large. And I searched in a hundred mile radius for the small little silk rose bundles that you used to be able to purchase at the craft stores. I just couldn't find them anywhere. So I'm going to cut these down and use these for in my doll. So again, a small bunch of silk flowers. And then if you want to trim around the bottom of the dress with little tiny roses or maybe some pearl beading or any other type of trim that you want to put on your dress, then just look through your stash and find other little accent pieces where you can decorate your dress. So let's go ahead and get this project started. To begin our project, I already have my pink attached to my hook and I just used a double knot. Now for our pattern today, we're going to start with the dress. So we're going to chain 16. You're going to yarn over the hook and pull it through that loop on your hook. This creates your first chain. The loop on your hook does not count as a chain. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. 
So once you get your chain 16 made, now we're going to join it together to form a ring. So make sure your chain is not twisted. You don't want it twisted. Make sure that everything is flat and going in the same way. So what I like to do is I just hold my fingers right about in the center as far as I can get my fingers. I hold on to that and then just bring it over and insert it into the very first chain that you made or the last chain from hook. You're going to slip stitch through that chain and slip stitch through the loop on your hook and this creates our ring. This is the neckline of our dress. So now we're ready to begin round one of our dress. You're going to chain one, and I'm going to take the strand of yarn from where I started, and I'm just gonna hold it up against my work when I work that first set of stitches. You want to insert your hook right back into that joining stitch. So you want to just go into that first chain, work a single crochet. You're going to chain two, Insert right back into that same chain where you made your first single crochet stitch. Work another single crochet. Now when you first start this, the yarn is kind of slippery. You really have to hang on to it until you get it started. So when you look at your work, you're going to have a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet in that joining stitch. You're going to skip that next chain and it's really hard to see because this single crochet is going to want to cover that chain up. So make sure you're pulling your stitches back. You skip that next chain, insert into the next chain and I'm going underneath that little piece of yarn where I started my ring. Work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain and work another single crochet. So you're making a shell stitch of a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into that same chain. You're going to skip the next chain and that is the end of the repeat. So let's go ahead and do the repeat again. You already skipped that chain, so you're going to insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain, work a single crochet. You're going to skip the next chain and then you start your repeat. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet. Chain two, insert into the same chain, work a single crochet. You're going to skip the next chain Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain, work a single crochet. Your shell stitch is made. You're going to skip that next chain, insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same chain. Skip the next chain, insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain, work a single crochet. So we have one more repeat to go, and when you look at your work, you're going to have three chains remaining. This is the chain that you skipped with your last repeat. Insert into the next chain, work your single crochet, chain two, and then insert back into that same chain and work a single crochet. You're going to have one chain remaining when you get to the end of the round. When you look at your work, you're going to have a total of eight shell stitches. So when you start with the first one, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight little shells. We're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first single crochet stitch. 
insert under the top two loops of the first single crochet of round one and slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. Round one is finished. And then when I get this all done, I'll just take my yarn needle and weave this. I'll tighten it up, I'll pull it a little bit, and then I'll use my yarn needle and weave it in and then back around and cut the end off. So let's go ahead and start round two. For round two, you're going to skip that beginning single crochet. You're going to insert into that next chain two space of that first shell and you're going to slip stitch yarn over the hook through the chain two and through the loop on your hook. And all this does is help you get into the center of that first shell stitch to start the round. You're going to chain one, insert back into that same beginning chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain two space and work a single crochet we're going to work one shell stitch of a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, into the chain two space of each shell stitch around. So let's go ahead and begin. You're going to look for your next shell stitch, insert right into the center of the chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain two space work a single crochet and that is the end of the repeat let's do it again find your next shell stitch insert into the center of that chain two space work a single crochet chain two insert back into that same chain two space work a single crochet let's do it one more time together Find your next shell stitch, insert into the chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, and then insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. You're going to work one single crochet, a chain two, and one single crochet into the chain two space of each shell stitch around. I'll meet you at the end of round two. I'm over at the end of round two. This is what your work should look like and you should have a total of eight shells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight at the end of round two. So now we're just going to go ahead and join with a slip stitch into that first single crochet of round two. Insert under the top two loops yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. Round two is finished. Now we're ready to begin round three. Round three, we're going to skip that beginning single crochet. You're going to insert into the next chain two space, and we're going to slip stitch through the chain two space and through the loop on our hook. Again, we want to make sure we're in the center of the chain two space to start our round. We're going to begin and we're going to chain one. You're going to insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet. Chain two, insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet. Find your next shell stitch, insert into the chain two space of that next shell stitch, work a single crochet. Chain two, insert back into that same chain two space and work a single crochet. So, so far you have two shell stitches. Now we're going to work our armhole and we're just going to chain three. One, two, and three. Find your next shell stitch. We're going right into the next shell, right into the center chain two space work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet. Your shell stitch is made and you can see your little armhole. Find your next shell stitch, insert into the chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, 
insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet. Insert into the next chain two space of the next shell stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that chain two space, work a single crochet. Find your next shell stitch, insert into the center chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet. So now we're ready to make our next armhole. So we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. We're going to finish the round by working one shell stitch in the chain two space of the next two shell. Find your next shell stitch, insert into the chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet. Find your next shell stitch, insert into the center chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet back into that same chain two space. We're going to finish the round by slip stitching into that first single crochet of round three. Insert under the top two loops of that first single crochet, slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. Round three is finished and you can see your two little armholes right here. Now we're ready to begin round four. Again, we're going to skip that beginning single crochet and we're going to slip stitch into this chain two space of the first shell stitch. You're going to chain one and now we're going to work our shell stitch of a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into that same chain two space. Insert into that chain two space, work a single crochet. Chain two, insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet. Find your next shell stitch, insert into the center of the chain two space of that next shell, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet. So now we're going to be working across our armhole, that chain three space. So we're going to skip this next single crochet. We're going to skip this next chain and into the center chain, you're going to insert your hook, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain, work a single crochet. Now you're going to skip the next chain, skip the next single crochet, insert into the next chain two space of that next shell, work your single crochet, chain two, insert back into that chain two space, work your single crochet. So now when you look at your work, we're going to have three more shell stitches and then our armhole. So we're just going to work one shell stitch in each of the next three shell. Insert into the next shell in the chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet. Find your next shell stitch, Insert into the chain two space, single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet back into that same chain two space. Find your next shell stitch, insert into the center chain two space, work your single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet. So now we have our next armhole. We're going to skip that single crochet. We're going to skip that next chain and into the center chain, you're going to insert your hook, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain, work a single crochet. 
you're going to skip this next chain, skip the next single crochet, you're going to insert into that next chain two space of that next shell, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet. Find your next shell stitch, insert into the chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet. So we're at the end of the round. We just worked one shell stitch in the center of each shell stitch, and we worked a shell stitch in the center of that chain three. Now we're ready to join our round. So we're coming over to that beginning single crochet stitch insert into the top two loops of the first single crochet of the round and slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. So now you're going to almost have a dome shape to your little dress and again your arm holes are on each side. So round four is finished and now it's time to start round five. For round five we're going to skip that beginning single crochet insert into the next chain two space and slip stitch through the chain two space and through the loop on your hook. You're going to chain one. For this round we're going to work two half double crochet into the chain two space of each shell stitch around. So let's begin. Yarn over, insert into that beginning chain two space, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. That is how you make a half double crochet. Half double crochet back into that same chain two space. Find your next shell stitch. You're going to yarn over, insert into the chain two space, work two half double crochets. One, and two. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it a couple more times together. Find your next shell stitch. You're going to yarn over, insert into that next chain two space of that next shell, work two half double crochets. One, and two. I'll show you one more time and you can continue on your own. You're going to yarn over, find your next shell stitch, insert into the chain two space of that next shell, work two half double crochets, one and two. And that is the end of the repeat. If you need help, just click back on the video. Again, you're going to work two half double crochets in each chain two space of each shell stitch around and I'll meet you at the end of round five. I'm over at the end of round five. We just worked two half double crochet in the chain two space of each shell stitch around and you're going to have a total of 20 half double crochet around. When you get to the end of your round, you're going to have a pretty large gap right here. You're just going to come over and slip stitch into this first stitch. It's just going to pull your work together. So come over to the first half double crochet of the round. You're going to insert under the top two loops of that first stitch and slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop of your hook. Now, when you're working on your dress, remember it's going to be upside down because this is the neck. You have your arm holes. This is the bodice of the dress. And now we're working on the waistline and then we're going to start the skirt. So again, round five is finished and you should have a total of 20 half double crochet stitches. So for round six, we're going to chain one you're going to yarn over, insert right back into that same joining stitch under the top two loops, work a half double crochet. For this round, we're going to work one half double crochet in each stitch around. Half double crochet into the next stitch. 
half double crochet into the next stitch and again always go under the top two loops unless I tell you otherwise half double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next stitch go ahead and continue and work one half double crochet in each stitch around and I'll meet you at the end of round six I'm over at the end of round six we just worked one half double crochet in each stitch around and you're going to have the same stitch count of 20 half double crochet we're going to join our round with the slip stitch into the top two loops of that first half double crochet stitch insert under the top two loops slip stitch through the stitch and through the loop on your hook round six is finished now we're going to begin round seven round seven you're going to chain one and we're going to begin our shell stitches again you're going to insert back into that same beginning joining stitch work a single crochet you're going to chain two insert back into that same beginning stitch work a single crochet so for this round we're going to work one single crochet a chain two and a single crochet in each half double crochet around now you might think this is too many stitches but this is how you get that nice full skirt insert into the next stitch under the top two loops work a single crochet chain two insert back into that same stitch work a single crochet your shell stitch is made let's do it again insert into the next stitch going under the top two loops work a single crochet chain two insert back into that same stitch work a single crochet insert into the next stitch work a single crochet chain two insert back into that same stitch work a single crochet and that is the end of the repeat so go ahead and continue work a single crochet chain two single crochet in each stitch around and I'll meet you at the end of round seven I'm over at the end of round seven you just worked one shell stitch of a single crochet chain two single crochet in each stitch around and you're going to have a total of 20 shell stitches around so we're just going to come up and join our round we're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet of the first shell stitch insert under the top two loops of that first stitch slip stitch through the stitch and through the loop on your hook round seven is finished and now we're ready to begin round eight for round eight we're going to start preparing our dress for the fuller skirt so let's begin we're going to skip that beginning single crochet and you're going to slip stitch into that first chain two space insert underneath yarn over pull through the chain two space and through the loop on your hook now we're ready to begin round eight for round eight we're going to chain one and we're going to work a single crochet chain two twice in each chain two space around you're going to insert back into that same beginning chain two work a single crochet you're going to chain two that's one of the two sets insert back into that chain two space work a single crochet and then chain two so you're doing that twice in each chain two space around so you're working a shell stitch and a chain two so let's go ahead and do the repeat again find your next shell stitch insert into the chain two space work a single crochet chain two and you're going to do that two times that's one of two insert back into that same chain two space work a single crochet and then chain two again for two of two let's do it again find your next shell stitch insert into the chain two space 
work a single crochet, chain two. Insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet, and chain two. And we're going to do that in each chain two space of each shell stitch around. So let's do it one more time together. Find your next shell stitch, insert into the chain two space, work a single crochet. You're going to chain two. Insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet, and then chain two. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. You're going to single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and chain two in each chain two space of each shell stitch around. If you need help, just click back on the video. I'll meet you at the end of round eight. I'm over at the end of round eight. This is what your work should look like. You're going to have 20 shell stitches and you're going to have 20 chain two spaces in between each one of those shell stitches. So a total of 40 chain two spaces around. So now we're going to finish the round by joining with a slip stitch into the top of that single crochet stitch. Insert under the top two loops and slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. So now we're ready to begin round nine. For round nine, we're going to skip the beginning single crochet, insert into the next chain two space and slip stitch through that chain two space and through the loop on your hook. So now we're ready to begin round nine. And for round nine, again, if you're a more experienced crocheter, we're going to be working a shell stitch of a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the chain two space of each shell stitch and the chain two space in between each shell stitch around. So let's go ahead and begin. You're going to chain one, you're going to insert back into that beginning chain two space, work your single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet. Your shell stitch is made. You're going to insert into the next chain two space between the shells, insert into the chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that chain two space and work a single crochet. Now we're ready to start our repeat. You're going to insert into the next chain two space of the next shell. Insert under the chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same space, work a single crochet. Insert into the next chain two space between the current shell and the next shell, right where this bigger space is. Insert under the chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. Find your next chain two space of the next shell stitch. Insert under the chain two space, work a single crochet chain two, insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet. Now you're going to find the chain two space between the current shell and the next shell, insert under the chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same chain two space, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. If you need help, click back on the video. You're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the chain two space of the next shell stitch. And then you're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into that chain two space between the current shell and the next shell. Again, if you need help, just click back on the video and I'll meet you at the end of round nine. I'm over at the end of round nine. This is what your work should look like and you should have a total of 40 shell stitches around. So now all we have to do is join our round. We're going to come up to this first single crochet of the first shell stitch, insert under the top two loops, 
and slip stitch through the stitch and through the loop on your hook. Round 9 is finished and now we're ready to begin round 10. For round 10 you're going to skip this beginning single crochet, insert into the first chain 2 space, yarn over and pull through the chain 2 space and pull through the loop on your hook. We're in the center of the chain 2 space and now we're ready to begin round 10. For round 10 we're going to work one shell stitch in the center of each shell stitch around. You're going to chain 1, insert back into that beginning chain 2 space, work your single crochet, chain 2, insert back into that same chain 2 space, work a single crochet. So very simple round, insert into the next chain 2 space of the next shell, work a single crochet, chain 2, insert back into that chain 2 space, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. Find your next shell, insert into the chain 2 space, work a single crochet, chain 2, insert back into that same chain 2 space, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue, work a single crochet, chain 2, and single crochet into the chain 2 space of each shell stitch around, and I'll meet you at the end of round 10. I'm over at the end of round 10. This is what your work should look like. It's going to be very roughly. You're going to join your round with a slip stitch into the top of that beginning single crochet of the round. Insert under the top two loops. Work a slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. Round 10 is finished. You're still going to have a total of 40 shell stitches around. To continue working on the skirt of the dress, you're going to repeat round 10 a total of 16 more times, working the last two rounds with your contrasting color of white as your trim. So again, if you need help, just click back on the video, repeat round 10 a total of 16 more times, doing the last two rounds with white as your trim color, and I'll meet you there. I'm over at the end of round 26. You just repeated round 10 16 more times, and you finished with the last two rows of your trim color. So now we're going to join into the first single crochet of the last round. So just bring your hook over, insert under the top two loops, and slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. So round 26 is finished, and now we're just going to fasten off. Now I like to leave that little bit longer length just so I can weave it in on the back. I chain two, lift my hook up, pull the yarn out, grab the yarn, pinch, pull down, and it creates a secure knot. So now you just want to grab a yarn needle. I'm just going to flip this over on the wrong side. You're going to grab the end that you fastened off, thread it through your yarn needle, and then you want to just take it through the stitches on the back. Make sure it's on the wrong side of your work. Go through some of the stitches. And when the pattern is this loose, you can try to split the stitches. And this helps hold that in place just a little bit better so it doesn't have the ends come out. And then I'm just going to go up to the next one. I like to do a long weave through my ends. If you make them too short, then they do like to come back out. And then I skip a stitch right here. I'll skip that strand of yarn and then I'll go to the next one and I'll weave back through and over. And then what I like to do is if I have enough yarn, I even go through a third time. I always skip that first loop, go to the next, and that's what helps kind of lock it in place. Just bring it through a few more stitches. And then you just want to fasten off. And go ahead and repeat that to the other end. And then I'll be back 
and we'll continue and make the hat for our doll. I'm back, I have my ends weaved in and now I'm going to put the dress on the doll. So I'm just going to take the doll out of the box. Now with this doll, her head does pop off. So be careful if you have a different doll because I tried to pop the head off of a different doll and I broke the head right off. So make sure that it has the swivel and it's soft and you can pop her head off. It's easier to get the dress on that way. Sorry I had to behead her, but this is an easier way to put the dress on. So I'm just going to put the dress right over her head and just bring the one arm up, stick it right in the armhole, and her thumb likes to get caught. So you just have to do it slow. So I got her one arm in, and then you just want to come over, find your other armhole. And it's easier if you put your finger in that armhole and then stick her hand up through that armhole. And again, her fingers like to get stuck. And then you can just pull it right over top the doll. And then I'm just going to pop her head back on. It's a lot easier than stretching the top of this dress over her head. I'm going to grab my toilet paper holder. So let me zoom out just a little bit more. And then all you're gonna do is take your doll just take her feet first and stick her right inside the toilet paper roll. And then you can just play with the dress until you get it to where you want it. Now with this doll, if you want to make the waistline smaller, after you put the dress on the doll, you can weave yarn in and out, tie it through the back, and then put your ends in down inside the dress and you can form a tighter fitting dress to make it look nicer if that is what you wish. Now I don't do that because I'm going to put flowers between her hands so you really can't see the waistline. So now it's time to start our hat so we're going to go back to our main color. So grab your main color, grab your hook, and let's get our hat made. Now we're ready to begin the hat. I already have my main color attached to my hook and I just used a double knot. To begin making our hat, we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. Now we're ready to begin round one. Round one, we're going to work 13 double crochet into this fourth chain from hook. You're going to yarn over, skip the first three chain, insert into that next chain and we're going to work 13 double crochet. Yarn over, pull back through that chain. You have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops only. Yarn over and pull through two loops. That's how you make a double crochet. So that was one of 13. You're going to yarn over, insert into that very same chain, work a double crochet. That's two, three, four, five. So go ahead and continue and work eight more double crochet into that same chain and I'll meet you at the end of round one. I'm over at the end of round one. We work 13 double crochet into the fourth chain from hook and we made our beginning round. So you should have a total of 14 double crochet and that includes your beginning chain three which counts as the first double crochet. We're going to go ahead and join our round together. You're going to count up to the top of that beginning chain three, one, two, three insert your hook into the top of that chain, slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. Round one is finished. Now we're ready to begin round two. For round two, you're going to chain one and we're going to insert right back into that same joining stitch. Insert right at the base of that chain one in that joining stitch, work a single crochet single crochet into the next stitch. Make sure you go under the top two loops, 
work a single crochet. Now we're ready to start the repeat. You're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch. One, insert back into that same stitch, work your second single crochet. Single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. Two single crochet into the next stitch. One. And two. Single crochet into the next stitch. And single crochet into the next stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. Two single crochet into the next stitch. One. Insert back into that same stitch. Work your second single crochet. Single crochet into the next stitch. And then single crochet into the next stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. So we only have one more repeat to go, so let's go ahead and do it together. You're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch, one, insert back into that same stitch, work your second single crochet, single crochet into the next stitch, and then single crochet into the next stitch. Now when you look at your work, when you're working in the round, when you join your round, my new crocheters may get mixed up thinking this is a stitch. This is not a stitch. This is your joining bar when you join a round together. So you're going to skip the joining bar and we're going to come over to that very first single crochet stitch, insert under the top two loops and slip stitch your round together. And when you slip stitch your round together, you can see how you form that joining bar. So round two is finished, and now it's time to start round three. Round three, you're going to chain one. You're going to insert right at the base of the chain one into that same joining single crochet. Work a single crochet. Single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next stitch. Continue and work one single crochet in each stitch around and I'll meet you at the end of round three. I'm over at the end of round three. You can see how your hat is starting to form. You should have a total of 18 single crochet stitches and I know I think I forgot to tell you you have 18 stitches at the end of round two and you're going to have 18 stitches at the end of round three so sorry I forgot to tell you that so now we're going to join the round again we worked in our last stitch this is the joining bar so you're going to come over to that very first single crochet and this just pulls your work together insert under the top two loops of that first single crochet stitch and slip stitch through the stitch and through the loop on your hook and again you can see how the dome part of the hat is forming so now to continue working on your hat for rounds four, five, six, and seven, you're going to repeat round three four more times. You're just going to do four more rounds of single crochet. So if you need help, just click back on the video, repeat round three four more times, and I'll meet you at the end of round seven. I'm over at the end of round seven. This is what your little hat should look like so far. Now, if you're using a different doll, you may not need this many rounds, so you can adjust your hat accordingly to the doll that you're using. So I'm just going to go ahead and join round seven together to the beginning single crochet. Under the top two loops, I'm slip stitching my round together. So now we're going to make the brim of the hat where it comes out and fans out. We're going to begin round eight with a chain one. You're going to insert back into that same joining stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, 
insert back into that same stitch, work a single crochet. We're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in each stitch around. So make sure you're pulling that stitch back and you're getting into the correct stitch because sometimes those stitches cover up that next stitch. You want to insert into the very next stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same, work a single crochet. Let's do it again. Insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same stitch, work a single crochet. Let's do it one more time together and then you can continue on your own. Find your next stitch, insert under the top two loops, work a single crochet, chain two, insert back into that same stitch, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and work a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet in each stitch around and I'll meet you at the end of round eight. I'm over at the end of round eight. I just worked a shell stitch in each stitch around, and you should have a total of 18 shell stitches. So we're going to go ahead and join our round into that first single crochet, insert under the top two loops, and slip stitch your round together. So now we're just going to fasten off our pink, and again, I leave a longer length just so I have more yarn to weave in. It's easier that way. I chain two, pull my hook up, pull the yarn out, grab the yarn, pinch, pull down, and it creates a secure knot. So we only have one round to go, so grab your trim color and let's do the last round. I'm over at the end of round nine. You should still have a total of 18 shell stitches around. And now we're going to join. You're going to come up to the top of that beginning single crochet and slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. I'm going to go ahead and fasten off. Again, I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, pull down, and it creates a secure knot. And then I'll be back and we'll finish up our toilet paper doll. So our hat is finished. Now depending on how your doll's hair is, this hair is sticking up way too tall. So I'm just going to pull this rubber band and pull this down to make the top of her head just a little bit flatter. Then I'm just going to add my hat just poke it down. So what I like to do is after I put the hat on, I just take a small straight pin, one that doesn't have a big head on it, and I just hold the hat down on her head, and I just stick a straight pin right through the top of the hat and down through her head, and it's easier if the doll is a soft plastic. And this just helps hold that hat in place. So now that is the basics of the doll. And then what I like to do is I like to take and put a small floral arrangement and poke it right down through the center of the dress right here at the waist. Now I had these pink flowers and I just cut some off and I just wrapped tape around them to hold them together. And again, these flowers are a little larger than I like to use, but it's just amazing that you cannot find anything in the stores any longer. So I'm just going to pick a spot in the dress, find one where the holes are a little bit larger. Once you get it in there, then you just push it back and push it down inside where the doll is. Now, if you have trouble with your flowers staying in place, I like to really push them down. I like them right down in there. So if you have trouble maybe with your flowers staying in place, then you can go ahead and maybe tack it with a little bit of hot glue. 
So our doll is finished. This again is the three dolls that I made. I decorated each one of them just a little bit differently to give you different ideas of how you can put more accents on your little doll. Make sure that if you're a member of our crochet group on Facebook, Creative Grandma, that you post a picture of your little doll when you get it done. I'd love to see how you put your own spin on it. So thank you everybody for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed making this crochet pattern. And until next time, happy crocheting.